It wouldn't be Pokemon if Pikachu wasn't caught by the main character. All right, so in this uh, chapter, we, we finally get Red to Pewter City. He's rolling up in, and right off the bat, there's some kind of excitement going on. Turns out, townspeople are in a frenzy because there's a wild Pikachu running all over the place, eating up their food, messing up their whatever, their stuff, and they're trying to catch it, they're running around with nets, and... They're, they're all angry about this. Red gets in there and he's like, they're catching it, they're trying to catch it with the net. Give me a break. Let me, let me take it, let me take it from here. So he sends out Bulbasaur, basically beats up Pikachu, <laughs> and catches it. Now, of course, of course they've got to have Red catch a Pikachu. He does have a Pikachu in other, fast, in other forms of him. But, like, of course he's got to catch a Pikachu, because Pikachu's the main mascot, and it wouldn't be a Pokemon story without Pikachu in some capacity in the story. Um, one other thing, of course, this Pikachu is also kind of an asshole right off the bat. Like, you got Ash catching, you got Ash getting Pikachu, Pikachu's kind of a jerk until they kind of bond, and then they're best buddies for the rest of the series. This Pikachu is also kind of a jerk. Um... So he catches Pikachu, and he essentially tries to get along with it. He he does the same kind of thing that like Ash does, where he's just like, "I'll let you out, and I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to you, try to get to know you, and we're we're gonna be buddies because that's what he wants." Of course, Pikachu doesn't want any of that, and in the midst of this, Red sh or in the midst of this. Blue shows up again because apparently Blue's following him too. Must be an oak trait. I don't know. Um, but Blue shows up, scolds him for having a Pikachu that basically is just like kind of a jerk. Um, talks about how great he is, I want to say. So he talks about how there's a gym challenge at Pewter City Gym and he's going to take it on himself. And basically that Red doesn't have the chops to, take, to do it. Red, of course, gets angry, challenges him to that, and uh, says, I'm going to win. I'm going to do it. Blah, blah, blah. And in a snarky, like, ending comment, he goes, well, like, uh, Blue goes, well, just so you know, Brock, the gym leader, he's a rock-type trainer. You're going to have a tough time with that Pikachu. It's like, of course... I don't know what to expect going forward. Ash beat Brock with his Pikachu. I don't know. We'll see what happens in the next chap in the next chapter. But anyway, so Red goes whatever. Blue leaves. So Red, in preparation to go to the gym, decides to go to the Pokemon Center. And for some reason, the center's been vandalized. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know whether it's gonna have some kind of like thing that goes on later that it's like a red challenges whoever vandalized it but for some reason it's been vandalized so no pokemon center no healing he's only got two other pokemon he just caught pikachu two pokemon kind of worn out though other than pikachu so i don't know what he's gonna do either way he ends up going to the gym anyways just to see what goes on and there's a whole hullabaloo going on Interesting thing is, in the gym, like, when you think of Pokemon Gym, you think, here's, you got the gym leader, and you've got the people that you have to beat to get up to him, and sometimes in certain stories, you don't have to beat those people, and you just go for the gym, like in the anime. In this version, you do have to go and beat people, but it's more in a tournament kind of style, where, like, people are, like, spectating, and that's very interesting to, uh, see, because... In all other facets, it's just, you show up at the gym, it's kind of a discreet thing, and this is more of an event, so that's actually really, really cool that, like, I, I wonder if, like, gym battles are more of a spectator thing than they sh are shown in the games or in, uh, even in the anime, um, 
Uh, of course, like in the anime, like Pokemon League itself is a spectator event. But up to that point, like Ash and other people are just kind of doing their own thing. So it's really interesting to see that this is more like a thing that people come out to watch challengers. And there's like a time set, a set time schedule for when they, when they can go to do it and when they can't. Like there's a nine to five schedule, I guess, to some degree. Um, so of course, Red gets there and that's basically the end of the chapter. He sees somebody fighting. Um, I, I like this chapter. It actually kind of sped, it, it, it pushed Red a little further um, into the story, there's, there's some progression, um, basically, <laughs> uh, I, I think one of my most interesting things that I noticed in this, and I think I've noticed in the other, I'm not sure, um, is in this series, they don't call out attacks so much. Now, like, in all other things, it's, they, you call out the attack, they do, the Pokemon do the move, and whatever, so that they know exactly. But, like, Red just says, Bulbasaur, go! Bulbasaur does some shit. And that, I think, is a very interesting thing. Because then it it, make, it makes it seem like, I don't know whether it's just, like, a connection thing, or it's just, like, oh, it's implying that, like, trainers and the Pokemon are so tight and so uh, connected that they don't really even need to say whatever. Or does it matter? Is it is it not even, like, a... Is it is it not even, like, a thing that matters where it's just like Bulbasaur just go attack it just do whatever you gotta do to beat it um I find that super interesting uh of course we got to see more uh Pokemon in the Pokeballs and Pikachu uh, Pikachu being angry in the Pokeball I'm looking forward to seeing how Red takes this challenge on uh basically he he's never other than like a few wild Pokemon he's never challenged I don't think other trainers at this point, at least not shown, um, and I think, I think it'll be really cool to see how he, how he reacts, because we've already seen that he's very smart, so even with two hurt Pokemon, well, not hurt, but, like, tired Pokemon, and one Pokemon that doesn't want to do anything that he want that he wants, maybe he can pull something out, I don't know, um, but yeah, I, I really enjoyed this chapter. Um, I want to say that I want to see less blue at this point. I want to see how red progresses on his own instead of constantly running into blue and have it be like... Like at this point, they've had three encounters. I would think three encounters? And each one has basically been the same. It's just been... Blue does something that makes red angry. He says something snarky. And then red gets angry and it gets diffused by whatever like blue just kind of pisses off or whatever he, he he's he he just leaves and he's just like whatever loser and takes off so i kind of want to like unless they're going to do something really interesting and have them actually battle whether one loses or the other loses whatever um unless they're going to do something with the two of them connecting in some capacity I don't know if I want to see Blue anymore at this point. Let him grow as a trainer and then bring him back and have him do something a bit more interesting that rather than just, oh, the two of them bicker and then he leaves. <laughs> and then Red's angry for the rest of the chapter. Um, but yeah, so that's that's uh, my take on it. I, I also find, like, why, 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 why... Is there always an angry Pikachu? I don't understand that. Is every Pikachu so upset at humans or just in general just grumpy that like they can't they can't just be chill once they're caught? <laughs> like Ash's Pikachu is kind of a jerk. Fred's Pikachu now is really kind of a jerk. Like why why is there such a Thing where it's just like, oh, yeah, Pikachu, you're going to catch Pikachu. It's going to be a jerk for the, for the first, like, whatever amount of time that you spend with it until you prove yourself. Is there a thing, like, le let me know. Is there a thing, like, that, that like, Pikachu is hard to train? Is, like, I even know it's a starter in yellow. Like, is, is there a, 
is there a piece of literature or in the Pokedex or whatever that says Pikachu are kind of weird and hard to train? I, I've never known that if it is. Um, but yeah, those are my thoughts on this chapter. Um, I'm glad that things are progressing. I'm glad that P uh, Red's finally caught another Pokemon. He caught a Pokemon technically in the first chapter, but I don't know. He's not using it, I guess. Um, but yeah, so very interesting uh, to see things progress. He's finally going to take on a gym. Um, but yeah, so let me know what you guys think in the, of this chapter down below in, in the uh, comments. Make sure you leave a like and so that I know that you enjoy this video. Um, and subscribe so you can keep up with all my future videos. I will see you guys next time. Bye!